हेलो किड्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन योर कंप्यूटर क्लास ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ओपन योर कंप्यूटर बुक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू राइट विथ सब्जेक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कंप्यूटर ओके एंड वॉट इज द डेट टू डे ट्वेंटी फोर ओके so dear students i hope you have opened your book and i will continue chapter 5 more on keyboard more on key board okay dear students dear students in last card i start this chapter i explain you about keyboard and the next page I explain you about keys of the keyboard and number key and arrow keys. Okay, in today's class, I will start from here. Function key. Okay, you can see here in this book. I am going to read it and explain you. Okay, if you have any problem, you will ask. Okay, so I am going to start. Open page number forty-four. Open page number forty. Four. Okay, dear students, ready? Very good. Function key. Function keys are used to perform specific task. This is the top most row on the keyboard. Their use depends on program to program. These are from F one to F twelve. Function key are twelve in number. You can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Function key are twelve in number. Okay, dear students. Now next key is symbol key. These keys are present on the top of the number keys. On number keys, and you can see here top of the number key. These are called symbol key. Okay. to type the symbols like at the rate percentage and many other you can see here we need to press shift key along with that key we press shift key and also that key together then we can get this symbols okay now next is special keys okay you can see here special keys to perform some special functions these are used on the keyboard first one is enter key it is the biggest key on the keyboard it is used to shift the cursor to the next line as i like i am writing here this is a book and this is a cursor i have to I don't write. I don't want to write here. I want to shift it in a next line. So how I will shift it? To press, press enter key. This is cursor. This is cursor. It will shift to the next line. So I will press enter key. There are two enter keys on the keyboard. It is also called return key. it is also called return key you can see here it is also called return key if you want to cursor to the next line you will press enter key okay dear students now next is space bar space bar is the longest key space bar is the space bar is the longest this is enter key this is enter key and this is space bar key this is space bar key space bar is the longest key on the keyboard it makes the sentence mag meaning full it is used to give blank space it is used to give blank space okay between two words processing these key ones will provide one character space if you will 
press one time only one space and if you will press two times then you will got two space then you will got you will get two space okay it is used to give blank space between two words processing these key ones will provide one character space it is located at the lower most part of the keyboard it is located at the this is keyboard if so it is located at the lower part of the keyboard now next is backspace key you can see this is back space key this is backspace key the small key mark with back arrow on the keyboard is backspace key backspace key used to erase the character just left to the cursor just left to the cursor okay it works like an eraser on the computer screen it is used like a eraser backspace key it is used like a eraser delete key delete key is also used to erase the character but on the right side of the cursor if cursor is there to so right side of the cursor you will erase okay so you can also delete selected text selected text you can also erase and graphics you can also erase by using delete key you can also call it del key you can also call it del key this is delete key you can see here okay shift key okay now here next shift key is used to type capital letter capital letter for these you have to press shift key along with desire the letter if you want to type capital letter so you will press shift key and desire letter this key can also be used with combination of other key shift key you also use with symbols key okay now next page open page number 46 page number 46 okay you can make like this this is shift key this is shift key now next caps lock key to get the alphabet in capital or small you will press caps lock key you will use caps lock key is used it is a toggle key that means if the caps lock is on it will type capital letter if caps lock will on if caps lock will on that means caps lock will on is on it will type capital letter and if it is off it will type small letter okay now i hope you understand all the keys okay dear students i hope you understand this if you have any problem in this chapter to understand any key you can ask to me now next let's revise dear students you have to learn a okay the inventor of keyboard layout is sir christopher latham solis invented by sir c l solis okay let's revise a keyboard is an input device keyboard is an input device next there are different types of keys on the keyboard okay you can see there are different types of keys on the keyboard now next third alphabet keys are used to type words sentence or paragraph etc alphabet keys are used to type words sentence or paragraph etc now next is number keys are used to type number number keys are used to type number now next you can see arrow keys arrow keys can also be called cursor control keys arrow keys can also be called cursor control keys now next function keys are used to perform specific tasks function keys are used to perform specific task 
Okay. Now next, enter key is used to save the cursor to the next line. Enter key is used to save the cursor to the next line. Now next, space bar is the longest key on the keyboard. Space bar is the longest key on the keyboard. Now next, caps lock key is used to type the character in capital letter. Dear students, I hope you understand this chapter. Now chapter is over. I hope you understand this chapter. Dear students, you will read this chapter two times. Dear students, you will read this chapter two times. You will learn this. Let's revise topics. Okay. You will learn it. Okay. So dear students, I am going to erase it. And uh, dear students, you have to read this chapter two times. Okay, dear students, you have to read this chapter two times. Okay. So be ready with your pencil. Be ready with your oh, pencil. Okay, dear students. Dear students, now chapter five is over. You will read this chapter two times. You will learn it and be ready with your pencil, brain, tracers. You will do it in your book as you know computer is oral subject so you will not make copy for it brain teasers okay so in brain teaser name the following keys first is name the following keys Name the following keys. Okay, dear students. So, first one is this, like this. Okay. So, what we will write? So, which key is this? This is. We will write space bar key. This is the space bar key. You can see it in your book. Okay. This is. Okay. This one, okay. This one is. So you will write, okay. You will write space bar key, okay, dear students. You will write it space. So you will write it space bar key. Now next is, you will. I am going to draw it, but I will not write it, okay. Which key is this? So you will write it alphabet key. Which key is this? This is alphabet key. For second one, you will write alphabet key. Now third one. I will not write, uh, draw all. Okay. So third one is number. Key. So here you will write number key. Now next. Fourth one. Which key is this? So this is A double R O W arrow key. This is arrow key. So first one is a space bar key on page number 47. Page number 47. First one is a space bar. Second one is alphabet key. Third one is number key. Fourth is L key. Now next is. Next key is this. And this is. Back. Space. Key. Now next key you can see here this key. This is, you can see here, this is backspace key. Now, next key is, which key? Next key is, enter key. Next key is, enter key. You can see here, this one is enter key. Now, next function key. I don't want to draw all, you will see it in your book. Also, you, you will draw it. Okay. You, 
you also no need to draw it. You have to write only the num name of the key, function key. So, next one, this key is function key. Okay. Now next. So this is next key and next key is this is shift key. I will write it shift key. I will write it shift key. And next key is as I already tell you I don't want to draw all keys. So I draw it roughly here. This is numeric key pair. This is numeric key pair okay dear students so here you can see so first one is space bar key second one is alphabet key third one is number key fourth one is arrow key fifth one is backspace key six enter key seventh function key next shift key and last one is numeric key pair i already draw here you can see here also Name the following key. First one is space bar key. Second one is alphabet key. Third one is number key. Fourth one is arrow key. Fifth one is backspace key. Sixth one is enter key. Seven is function key. So next key is shift key. And this is last one, numeric key pair. Okay, dear students. So, dear students, now chapter 5, more on keyword is over. You will read this chapter, chapter 5, two times. And you will read this chapter two times and you will learn this. Let's revise. Okay, all the most important topic of this chapter you can see here. And you will complete it with the help of this okay dear students and if you have any problem in this chapter you can message me okay now have a nice day thank you bye bye